Dustin McLean, Claire Max, and Benjamin Martin. Experts in the world of cosplay and DIY. Masters of duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue. Together, they are the DIY Costume Squad. Hey, what's up? I'm Dustin, and today I'm going to be making a very DIY Captain America costume. I'm making this for an upcoming episode of Homemade Movies, so it's going to be very scrappy and homemade and DIY using some stuff I just found at some thrift stores. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so Captain America, specifically from Civil War. It's a pretty straightforward costume when you really look at it, but I want to fancy it up using some foam with some of these little panels and things. I'm going to just paint a shirt and some pans of blue, and then there's some straps, the belt, gloves, um, and then the helmet, of course. That's probably the trickiest part, really, is the helmet. And then there's the shield, too, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So I'm going to start with just kind of the base of the outfit um, that's going to be blue. So, here's all the goodies that I got. This is the fun part. Yar. So for the first piece here, um, I found a jacket. This was $10 at a thrift store. Figured this was kind of like a nice plain canvas to start with. And then I'll add some pieces on top of it and then paint it blue. It's a pretty sharp jacket. Okay, let's start by just trying it on and marking out some shapes. Because I'm doing this for a homemade movies episode, it's gonna be our friend Michael. He's playing Captain America. So I'm gonna make it so that it'll kind of fit me. And then I'm hoping that he can squeeze into it also. So I'm gonna attach some uh, various panels of different shapes on here. And and for that, I'm gonna use craft foam from the craft store. These are 99 cents a piece. Super easy to cut, super easy to glue. So I just printed out a star for my computer. So that will just serve as a guide. I'm just making this up. And I'm like looking at the pictures, but I'm making up a lot of the shapes myself too. Yeah, that's cool. So I've kind of made like a negative shape around where the star is gonna go. So I'm gonna trace these uh, to make the mirror image. So I'll have the other side as well. Okay, so I'm gonna glue these pieces down. Hot glue works really well on this EVA foam and it works really well on fabric too. It just soaks right in. Okay, so this bottom piece, I'm only gonna glue halfway so that we can open the zipper later. Oh yeah. So I'm just moving on to the arms. Um, it's a lot more of just kind of looking at the shapes and kind of just faking it and drawing the shapes out here, cutting them out, gluing them on, um, saving the red ones for later, but all the ones that are gonna end up being blue, I'm just gluing right on. Definitely shield, you can tell by the geometric pattern. I think that's the last piece of armor, but what I'm gonna do for the arms is I'm gonna cut a seam right down the forearm and then I'll line these edges with tape so that I can just tighten it down on my arm and then put my hand in the glove and it'll all kind of stay in place. All right, now that all the foam pieces are in place, it's time to paint it blue. I picked up a handful of these blue paint cans. They were $3 each, so let's head out to the paint station. All right, so while I'm painting this blue, I'm also gonna paint the pants which I picked up at a thrift store for $6. I made sure that these were kind of the same color as the coat, so that way the paint will sort of sit on it the same way. All right, so just gotta wait for all this paint to dry and then I'll pick this back up tomorrow. Okay, the paint is all dry. It's looking pretty good. I've got my pants and my jacket. So what I need to do is start adding in some of these other um, pieces that are gonna really make it pop. So there's the star, and then I've got the abs, these red and white stripes. So I'll just be continuing on with craft foam. I'll just trace these on here and then cut them out. There we go. Okay, I think those are all the pieces. So, so now I'm gonna glue them in place. <laughs> Captain who? What? I don't... Ah, oh, it's the star that really sells it. All right, so he's got this little Avengers emblem on his shoulders, so I'm just gonna cut that circle out of some red foam and then draw on the A with a white paint pen. It's like a Neko wafer. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna paint this star silver. I already have some old silver spray paint, but usually it's around three bucks. Bam. 
Ooh, that looks nice. The finishing touches on this jacket are gonna be to draw on a few of the extra details using a black marker. I'm just looking at the pictures and kind of figuring out um, where some additional lines should go. All right, so now it's time to add in the Velcro. Um, I have a little tiny bit left. Usually you can get a whole roll of this for like, I think two bucks. Sweet. Okay, there are a few um, red pieces on the pants too, so I'm just gonna cut some pieces and glue those on. All right, so next up, I'm gonna move on to some of these straps and the belt. So I bought a handful of miscellaneous belts and things. They're around $3 each from a few different thrift stores, got different sizes. All right, before I go too much further, I'm gonna paint all three of these brown. I really like the little metal buckles on this black belt, so I'm gonna attach those to this belt. All right, I'm gonna make this little buckle piece in the back just out of one solid piece of cardboard. Um, a cardboard that I recently used. So I'll just draw out the shapes and cut it out and then paint it. Okay, the buckle is ready. I'm gonna be attaching the belts to them. All right. I think that's ready to go. I'm gonna move on to his belt. I'm gonna make the buckle out of cardboard, of course. I'm gonna do a very light coat of black on here. This is 99 cents, just to darken it and make it a little dirtier. Ta -da. <laughs> Uh, his belt has a bunch of little pouches and pockets all along the sides, so I'm gonna use this fabric belt and cut them and just make a bunch of little folds and that will kind of look like his little pockets. All right, I'm gonna start with gray primer. That way when I paint the brown, you'll be able to see it better. Okay, I'm gonna glue all of these really flat and then glue them all to the belt. I'm just gonna hit those with brown real quick. I love these pouches. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the gloves. I found this pair at a thrift store for $5. And then I'll cut the fingertips off and then paint them brown. And then I think that's pretty much all I need to do. Ah! <laughs> it's like a bloody fingertip. It's the most unexpectedly morbid thing. I think he's actually wearing black boots and then there's some long like spats, I guess. So you could just pick up a pair of black boots, but I'm gonna use these to extend my black boots and make them even taller. Okay, so I've got two more belts here. I'm gonna cut each one of these into three pieces and then glue them on here. I'm just gonna spray paint these all the way black so they don't look like Edward Scissorhands. All right, now I'm going to attempt to make this helmet, which I think is gonna be the hard part. So I bought this foam pirate hat from the craft store. It was $2.50. Also bought this party mask, and I think it's like actually papery. This was $3. So between that and one more skinny belt, I'm gonna see if I can put this together. You know what? Forget Captain America. I'm just gonna, there, that's my costume. Cool, ready for the party. I'm gonna use the heat gun very lightly, which can probably soften this. Really working. I'm just gonna change the shape of this eye a little bit with some tape. That's better. It's not quite so uh, yeah. doe-eyed. <laughs> it's a Darth Vader with a tiny face. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. So, I need to paint this blue, and then I'm gonna add in a few straps. So first, I'm just gonna spray paint the whole thing brown. And the A, and then I think that might be it. Okay, so the mask is dry. It was sticky for a little while, so I let it sit overnight, but I'm ready to finish this up. It's looking pretty good. 
I'm gonna put the straps on. I just need to cut it into some pieces. Okay, it's on the small side, but that's uh, pretty much it. So I picked up some more Velcro. I'm gonna have these two pieces actually attach in the middle. I'm just gonna make a little buckle out of some galvanized steel wire. All right, so I'm gonna make this little chin piece. Probably just use some craft foam and just cut out some shapes right here and glue it on. So I just gotta add the final details. A for the top, there's some little wing things. Draw in a few more details and then that's it for the helmet. For a while there, I thought this helmet was not gonna work at all, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right, so I think that's everything for this suit, but there's one last thing that Captain America needs, and that is his shield. For an episode of Homemade Movies, Ben made this awesome Captain America shield out of a trash can lid. You know, if you wanna get real DIY with it, you could do that, but I'll show you how to make one just out of a piece of cardboard as well. All right, so I have this big piece of cardboard. Everyone always asks where you get your cardboard. Well, I save big pieces. This is left over from like a TV that I bought a while back. So here's a trick for making nice circles. Take a piece of string, use that for the radius, and then from your center point, you can draw a circle all the way around. All right. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more curve to this by making a few slits along the outside edge so that it can kind of curve down. So I don't think I need to actually glue those after all. I'm just gonna tape all of them one by one and then I should have a nice curved surface. All right, just gonna make a little handle back here. All right, time to paint. I'm gonna use my string again and do a series of circles and then I'll mask it off. All right, time for silver. There. Okay, I got a few touch-ups I gotta do, but not bad. So I was gonna just paint this inner circle blue, but the masking kind of takes forever and it's peeling, so I'm just gonna make a separate piece of cardboard. Plus, since this is a little flat, maybe that'll give it a little bit more dimension. All right, I'm just gonna paint this blue. Blue. So the very last thing I'm gonna do to the shield and to the costume is to do a very light layer of black paint just to kind of dirty it up and make it look like it's really worn. I don't know if the back of it's black or not, but. All right, I think that's it. I think it's uh, time to try it on. I always get the baggiest pants ever. Remember, I had to make these a little bit big so they could also fit Michael, who is much taller than me. Nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna tape these into place like that. Okay, lastly, the helmets. Here we go. Okay, I guess all I need now is my shield. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to go show the squad. Hey, hey we, you're not Ben. I am not Ben. Ben and Bianca just had a baby, as you might know, but I'm going to reveal to you the Captain America costume. Here comes Captain America now. What? Whoa, all right. Wow. Yeah, with shields, all Looks right. Looks fantastic. Looking good. This is Michael, and he is playing Captain America in I the guess. upcoming uh, Captain America Civil War homemade movies episode, which comes out next Tuesday. Claire plays Black Widow on that as well. Does fit on you a lot better than it fits on me, I gotta say. This actually took a lot longer than I expected. It's very I detailed. I really started getting into the nitty yeah. gritty of like, wait, no, this one fits, this one fits with this one. Does it feel like you could like fight crime? Uh, this? yeah. This is like glued to my body. It really it is tight fit. Which is ideal for crime fighting. So uh, it's like, give us your best poses. Yeah. The shield has, we got a breeze coming off the shield. I know. Yes. 
<laughs> All right. Nice. We're back in business. Very nice. cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching this special episode of DIY Costume Squad. And check out the Homemade Movies episode on Tuesday. That's Captain America Civil War with these guys and this costume. Be sure and subscribe and let us know in the comments what other costumes you want to see. And we'll see you next year. All right. Best uh, Captain America poses. <laughs> <laughs> and holding yeah. and click.